We are very, very concerned with the current situation regarding the, the fodder shortage or the, the fodder famine that's in many, many parts of Ireland, in particular the west of Ireland and the southwest, where the more marginal, uh, disadvantaged area farmer is struggling to feed his cattle or her cattle. Uh, at the moment there's 3,200 bales of hay sitting in Sherbrooke to be transported to Ireland. There's difficulties with the, with the dockers union there. Uh, I think it's 120 bales come in in the last two days. This is totally and absolutely inadequate. I have uh, had farmers contacted me from my own constituency and from other areas. Uh, it's a crisis situation at this point in time. There is an urgent need for the Minister to intervene, uh, particularly as the uh, as, as, as President of the Council of Ministers and Agricultural section of it to intervene immediately and try and resolve the situation regarding uh, prevailing in Strasbourg and, and, and other areas in order to get the, uh, the fodder into the country. There is also an urgent need for some type of a, of a financial package. Uh, the IFA have, IFA have suggested a 50 million financial package. I concur with this. I believe something needs to be put in place in order to alleviate the terrible situation that is existing at present. Yeah. Well, I suppose Sinn Féin are concerned that this current impasse at the docks in France is compounding the fodder of famine. Uh, the Minister needs to use his power at the Council of Ministers level to make sure that this is resolved in some fashion so that the fodder can be transported to Ireland. Uh, 120 bales in four containers out of 3,200 bales is just not enough. We have cattle dying on the land and it's absolutely imperative that the Minister intervenes with his French counterparts to have this resolved. It's also an issue that the cash flow problems the farmers are, 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 are feeling at the moment need to be resolved as well and that payments, uh, European payments could be uh, brought forward to help resolve that issue. But also that the, the government need to Act and, and uh, to appoint a junior minister in the Department of Agriculture. This, this minister has been very busy. He isn't Superman. Uh, he's been dealing with the CAP negotiations, the, the Common Fisheries Policy negotiations, Burger Gate, and now the fodder crisis. Uh, there needs to be a minister, minister of state appointed immediately to, to assist in that department to make sure that the government uh, puts the right focus on this issue. Thank you. Um, and so, what do you think with, is within the power of the actual minister if, if he could do something? Well, he certainly has the power to intervene uh, at this point in time within, within, the, within the EU. He has also the power to try and uh, direct the banks and, and, and this country to be more flexible in their lending approaches. He has the power as well to, uh, to, uh, to access the Solidarity Fund, uh, which I think would be very, very beneficial at this point in time, particularly to the, the farmers most in need. And uh, I think he needs to show strong leadership uh, in relation to this so that we can... This is the biggest crisis in farming, I would say, in the last, uh, last 30 years. Uh, there are farmers at the moment that I have spoken to this morning that spent the last number of days trying to stand animals in their farmyard that have gone down with hunger. And uh, there are... It is a famine in certain areas of this country uh, uh, with, with fodder shortage and in, this needs to be dealt with as a priority by this government and by this minister. It's also today a priority, both houses of the of the Arachthus, we're both going to raise it in the Dáil and in the Shannon as a matter of priority, calling for an urgent debate that the Minister come in and that all uh, TDs and Senators on all sides of the House realise the severity of this problem and that action is taken immediately by the Government to resolve it and particularly this impasse at the French ports.